this country with honor and dignity. We all take the same oath when we go in. It doesn't make any difference when we served, what we did, we all took the same oath. Okay. I, uh, as I look out to the audience, I see a lot of veterans here. And uh, before I leave, I'm going to express my gratitude for their service. It was 62 years ago, in June, that I graduated from uh, Thomas Jefferson High School in Elizabeth. Ten days later, I, I left the Paris Island. I joined the Marine Corps for four years. And when I got out of the Marine Corps, I uh, released from active duty. I, uh, I went to college, to a small Christian Brothers College in New Mexico. And I was called back in for a, uh, I forget how they phrased it. It was a, a uh, something about my MOS, there was a shortage of my MOS. So they needed me back in. Well, anyway, I went home and I made it very clear that I was in college, you know. And uh, they said, you're in college. I said, yeah, you straighten your records out. So I was able to continue my college then, where I met my beautiful partner in 55 years, Linda. Uh, I just want to say that, uh, make something very, very clear to you guys in the seventh and eighth grade who are getting ready to graduate here. Uh, I guess the majority of you will move on to RFH. That wall of honor out there is not a recruitment poster. It is just a recognition poster. So that you, every once in a while, will take a look at it and realize that there are young men, and hopefully someday women, from this institution who walk the same hallways, attended the same classes, are now protecting your rights and freedoms in this country. I want to make that very clear because I don't want you to think that just because you graduated and th that these people are special. This is their special day for their service to our country. But you are just as special as any graduate here. As long as you make a commitment to do whatever you do and proceed with your life. Help each other in your lifetimes. Let's get rid of all this nastiness and stuff we see on TV. And just, just every time you go by that wall, say thank you for giving me the right to be able to do this. There are a lot of countries where you can't pick your occupation or what you do in your life. This is not one of them. And the reason is because those soldiers on that wall were predeceased by a lot of great men that did that. In closing, I just want to say one thing. Last time I was in this gym, I walked down this hallway from uh, uh, the Wall of Honor with a group of veterans, and I, uh, I spoke on Veterans Day. I just want to mention two members that walked that, took that walk with me. One of them was Ray Taylor, and one of them was Henry Stevens. They're no longer with us. However, they both served honorably, and are the reason, for the reason for, that we can sit here, have these kind of assemblies, practice our own religions, practice our own, our own political views. But don't let our political views or other people's ideas or anything to ever change that. Don't let it change your friendships and don't let it uh, change your commitment to your life. Be committed to what you do. Try to be the best you can be. And uh, you'll turn out to serve this country just as well as anybody on that wall of honor. I thank you for your time and your attendance. God bless you all, and happy Veterans Day.